Sometimes when you're creating a piece of content like a YouTube video or even live streaming, you might wanna be able to capture the audio from certain apps or programs on your computer, like Spotify or Discord, for example. So if you're using a Mac, it doesn't let you do this out of the box. So I'm gonna show you a really quick and simple tool called Loopback, which will help you capture that audio and use it in your content. Let's go. So first, let's learn a bit about how audio in your Mac actually works. So this is Gerald. He's a small furry rodent who lives inside your computer and you can think of him like a postal worker. So he takes parcels of audio and delivers them where they need to go. So he's 42, he has three kids and he's got a secret collection of Barbie dolls that he keeps in his wife's underwear drawer. That's not really relevant today, but it's just some backstory. So Gerald delivers two types of parcels. The first are really light, easy to carry. They're things like your external microphone. If you've got an external audio interface that plugs into your computer, Gerald can carry those nice and easily. The next type of parcel he carries are really heavy. And these are any apps that you've got on your computer that actually make a sound. So it could be music programs like Spotify, or it could be programs that let you do voice chat such as Discord or Zoom. Now these weigh an absolute ton and Gerald cannot be bothered to carry these around. And this is where our problem lies. So every morning, Gerald grabs his parcels, he goes and has his morning coffee, and then he delivers them to an apartment building. On the ground floor of this apartment building live hardware output devices like your speakers or your headphones. There's no stairs here, so Gerald can deliver any type of parcel here very easily. On the top floor live apps which can listen to audio and then do something with it. So apps like OBS, which let you stream, or even things like Zoom, which let you choose what microphone you're going to use to speak into. Now, Gerald isn't getting paid enough to deliver those heavy parcels up to the top floor, so instead he just leaves them outside in the bin. So that's where Loopback comes in, and you can think of Loopback like an extra espresso shot we put in Gerald's morning coffee that gives him the energy to deliver those heavy parcels up to the top floor. And that's how virtual audio interfaces work. Let's hop into a quick demo. What we want to do is get some music from Spotify to play in our live stream and we need to feed that into OBS so that it can listen. As we know, Gerald is too fat and lazy to go up to that top floor to deliver that parcel. Normally we would expect to go to Add Source, Add Audio Input Capture and be able to select it there. So we'll just call this Test for now. And as you can see, all we've got in this list is a load of microphones. So my Yeti, which I'm speaking into now, my monitor, which has a audio output, the standard built-in microphone on the MacBook, and then some other virtual stuff that you don't need to worry about for now. So what we want to do is get Spotify to show up in this list so that we can actually use it in our stream. So the first thing you'll need to do is head to the Rogue Amiga website, download Loopback, Nice and easy, doesn't ask for consent to download it, it just does it, which is a bit rude, but there we go. So you do that, install it, follow the instructions. Unfortunately, to get this working because of the way Apple's designed their audio system, you do actually have to restart your Mac in safe mode and do some tinkering, but Loopback will guide you through that when you try to install it. Once your Mac starts up again, Loopback is ready to roll, and this is what it looks like when you first install it. The first thing we need to do is add a new virtual device, which you can see down here on the bottom left. And we just tap that and that'll give us a new template to create whatever we want. So we'll just call this YouTube test. Now by default, it adds this pass through source, which basically means other virtual devices you create can feed their output into this one. We don't need to worry about that too much for now. So we're just gonna delete that. And what we want to do is capture that music from Spotify. So the first thing we want to do is actually add our source. And in this case, it's Spotify. So Loopback will give you a list of running applications in the list by default. If it's not there, then you can just select application manually using this selection here. We've got Spotify running in the background, so we're just going to choose that. And as you can see, it's now added Spotify as a source here and linked it to this output here. So what Loopback has essentially done is create a new virtual audio input that can be used by our Mac. And it will be called YouTube test in OBS or in the system preferences as well. Now, one thing I always forget to do is click on this little options thing here. 
and you may or may not want to tick this but I usually leave it off which is to mute it when capturing. So this means that you can use this as an input for your stream without it coming out your speakers. So I'm going to untick that but you may wish to leave it on depending what your setup's like. And we're going to hop into Spotify and we're going to try and capture some of these lovely stream beats by Harris Heller. I'm sure a lot of you are aware of these but if not, it's just a whole load of free music, DMCA free, that you can use on your streams or content. So that's playing now. If we jump back into Loopback, we can see that it is picking up the output from Spotify and feeding that to our output channel here. Now, if we hop into OBS Live, that should now be available as an audio input. So all we do is add it the same way you'd add your microphone. So audio input capture, we'll call it test. And if we click on device here, we can now see that YouTube test, which is our loopback device, is available for use by OBS. So if we select that, we can see the audio meter is running, it's picking up the music. If we bring up Spotify here and just pause it, that should stop. Now loopback is very powerful and you can do all sorts of stuff here. You could even combine multiple applications into one. So if you wanted some background music and you wanted to, for example, capture a YouTube video or something in the background, you can actually combine different sources into one. I usually like to keep them separate just so I've got more control of them in OBS. But you can do cool stuff like this. I have used this for certain types of stream where I'm trying to capture a video conference with someone. So I want the discussion, but I also want the program that we were working on together to be captured as well. You can also add monitors. So this will feed the audio output into either headphones or speakers, whatever you want to do. So if I wanted to listen to this on my MacBook Pro speakers just to see what was going on, you just add that there. Very simple. And you can add as many of these as you like. Now Loopback does cost $99 for the full version. They give you a free demo for a few minutes before they start adding static to the output. So you can check it out, see if it's for you. Personally, I think it's worth every penny. There is another free alternative to this called Black Hole, which does a similar thing, but it doesn't have a UI as nice and simple as this. You've got to tinker around in the system preferences a little bit more. But all virtual software interfaces work in a similar manner to this. The principle is always the same. Let's hand back to me. If you found any other ways of doing this, please let me know down in the comments. And if you found this useful, please like and subscribe. I'm planning on doing a lot more tutorials like this. And I'll see you in the next video.